Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes. Um, of course, I hit record and the cars drive by. The energy in this house has just been very, very intense and on screech because there's some drama going on here. Just saying, not for me or anything, but um, I don't want to get into that. And I said that I cleanse the energy in here and I'm just like, I want different messages, so I don't know if this is pertaining to another person, another situation, or what have you, but um, this seems pretty pretty similar to to some of this. Hi. I don't know why I want to say hi to everyone for some reason. I'm just saying hi. Maybe someone's just saying hi and it's going to cause a problem. Who knows? But anyways, um, I don't know. I have a few... It's weird because I'm in this energy. I have a few things I want to say, but there's some stuff I think I want to put in a different recording, a different video or something. Um, I kind of want to just cover this real quick and then see what else can come out for today because unless it continues on with this energy, I don't know. It just depends. I don't have any control over the messages that come through. So let's get this done and over with. Let's get this BS out of the way right quick. <laughs> apparently because these cards suck and it's all in different in different decks like I but anyways I love it when that happens because it's confirmation but at the same time it's like I, I don't know this feels very stressful I feel like I don't know I'm irritated I don't feel like angry or anything I just feel like what what like that's the energy I'm sitting in so I kind of feel like this is separate from the crap in this house. It is. It is separate. Okay, I just heard I should start here first before I before I dive into this crap. Um, yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, because I hold things. I do psychometry. I do a lot of different things. And spirit's been coming through very heavily lately, like more and more as I understand more. And I don't know, the energies pick up. And I pick up on a lot of... Um, other people, whether I know them or not. And I also pick up on cold cases and, and stuff like that. You know, um, whether they're cold or not, I can pick up on solved murders and pick up different details or just crime in general. Um, and some of these crimes are literally, they're out of state. They're, they could be in another country. It just depends. And I did get confirmation on a lot of the messages that I was receiving um, due to that murderous type crap with a corrupt family and shit, I got a lot of confirmation yesterday, well, technically this morning, because yesterday I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> like, um, I was just watching TV and the apps that I, I use on my Roku, because my Roku is older, they won't play on my Roku anymore, so I can only use Netflix. And... I was trying to find different shows and I was just watching like stupid shows like nothing no crime crap until right before bed and I watched one like docu-series or something just one episode and then it went to this a different crime that happened in North Carolina and I never heard of it and I think it did make national news because I said a long time ago there was a situation that would it would feel like local news, but it's actually national news or something. I feel like that actually, that's for more than one thing. But it made me think of that this morning because I wasn't paying attention to, I mean, I was watching the series, like the, the, you know, the, I was getting information on it basically yesterday, but I'm like, hmm, I don't know. This morning I've been picking up on the people involved in that in that case, in that situation, because it's a corrupt family, lots of money, money laundering, murder, uh, scandals out to ass in that one, I'm just saying. And I want to talk about that, but not here. So maybe in the next video, I'll dive into that more. Yeah, I'm not, it's not part of this. That's separate. Um, I just, that's separate. That's something that I'm going to take more time on apparently. Anyways, what I was going to say before I dived into the cards is like I do psychometry and stuff. And yesterday <coughs> when I was sitting there just watching 
a show I can't I think it's called the cabinet of curiosities they're just like mini episodes like mini stories and stuff and they're kind of twisted it's similar to the twilight zone or tales from the crypt type things it's just uh like a, a new age version I guess and I was sitting there and I heard go get your crystal so I was gonna grab this one and I was like hmm. no I, I was looking at the green one and I'm like okay so I just sat there and I'm just holding it and I was just watching tv I wasn't channeling it wasn't doing anything on purpose you know what I mean I just was holding it and then out of nowhere I just started like staring off into space and I was getting all and I hadn't done that all day like I was totally fine totally normal whatever and I'm just kind of like I don't know I was off in la la land I didn't have any thoughts in my head though when it was happening and then I started crying <laughs> I just started crying and I'm like okay I'm not thinking of anything I'm not feeling anything, like, emotion-wise, but I'm crying. And what's really weird is this is the stone that I was holding that I kept in my pocket and that I slept with the night that I went to the motel and all that stuff happened. Oh, I can't. I'm going to have to cleanse it and um, get that energy out of there. But um, that, was, that was the energy in the room, like, what happened to me because I was like, this feels like what happened to me, but I had thoughts in my head and I was feeling a lot of different emotions and stuff during that. So it makes me wonder if there was somebody else because there's a couple people, but there was somebody else feeling that way or that was the energy in the room, whatever it is. Um, but it was weird because you would think if you're going to start crying, like I, like I was crying, just holding it someone there would be feelings tied to it like feelings of sadness or anger or something but there was nothing it was just like blank tears and I'm like what the this is weird so I don't know why I'm starting with that but blank tears whatever that means to you I know that that has something to do with me and my situation and crap from the past but Pay attention to your feelings when you're around people, around certain people, in situations, uh, when you're holding things, depending on what your gifts are. Because some of you do have the gift of psychometry, you're just unaware of it, or you have more abilities than, than you realize because you don't work with them or you don't understand it. So that, that's going on for some people. Not for everyone, but it's in here. Um, and that's beyond me, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so anyways <clears throat> oh excuse me <sighs> dumpster diving that's the first card out and what's standing out to me with this is drama gossip trash talk and unfriending people on social media so if there's anyone who's being <sighs> problematic if they're spreading gossip spreading lies talking shit you know those stupid people um, because they have no life of their own and they would rather just talk about your life, even if it's a bunch of BS. Um, I feel like you're unfriending those people on social media or there's a need to do so. Um, it's almost like clean slate. Let's get rid of this toxicity so that you can, so you can see who's really in your corner. Um, and you can also see where the problems are coming from because when you stop talking to those people, it's amazing how things just calm down. So some people might be getting um, unfriended and blocked in your physical reality and on social media, but this feels like, because I felt like I was holding a phone. So someone could be holding a device and going, screw this. I'm done with this person, that person. I'm done with all this crap. Um, don't feed into the drama. Just exit stage left, you know, keep your composure if anything like that is going on because you know, there's a lot of hurtful things being said and spread around about someone or someones, you know, multiple people. And it's not just, you know, high school crap in this energy. Adults do this too. I don't know, because I feel like I'm just sitting back and like, I'm so glad that there's problems now. Like, I want to cause problems for people. That's how someone, that's what they live off from. They thrive off from that stuff. Um... So if there's any problems between you and another person and it was like created due to outside people or an outside source, that person's just sitting back thinking that they, 
that they won, but they didn't because we have tornado here, which is like the tower, and we also have the tower here. So, um, massive change. So there's a lot of changes occurring in this energy within this situation. There's family issues here and disagreements. I don't feel like any of this is physical. There's no physical altercation within this energy, at least right now. It just feels more of like verbal diarrhea. Um, yeah, it feels like verbal diarrhea based off from lies because this flew out of the deck. So there's whatever dirt is being dug up or dredged up about another person within a family situation because there's some type of family issue here or family or this is within someone's family like families just lying about each other or some crap um or there's a lie floating through a family situation hiding the liar is hiding they're pretending that they didn't create whatever this is Or that's part of a lie that someone's hiding from another person or hiding away or something. But then we have backstabbing energy. But we also have backstabbing energy under the tower over here. With the seven of wands and the ten of pentacles. Which is a relationship family situation. It could be money. But this is standing up for yourself. Standing up for your family. Someone's very defensive. Because of this betrayal. Because something's happening very suddenly. Whatever this is, it's coming out of left field. It's almost like, how did this even happen? What the hell is going on here? Um, like, I will defend myself. So someone definitely wants to stand up for themselves. Yeah, because there's gossip here. People are just running their mouth. And this could be someone... Whoever's running their mouth is... They're heartless, for one, but they're very insecure and they're creating a lot of rumors which is causing problems in a situation um but it's someone that you trust or that you trusted i'm not sure if you confided in this person or not someone's back is very significant so someone's back they're coming back someone's back the bitch is back i don't know <laughs> so it just made me think of someone's coming back around but this gossip is happening behind your back, behind someone's back. That's what it feels like. All right. Possibly because whoever's spreading lies and stuff, they might, they might um, feel backstabbed and betrayed. Which that's just a feeling. I don't know exactly what had happened here. I'm recording. Did you want a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So let's see. Let's get a little bit more. Let me pull some of these. What is all this about? I did say there was something significant about Sunday. So maybe this is coming out today or on a Sunday. I know today is Sunday, March 5th, 2023. Bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Okay. Somebody could be lying about money as well. I don't know. There's a huge family problem here. All right. Give me more on this. Oops. Stay right there. All right. What is this bag about? What is this new job, career, or raise? You could be changing course within whatever your career is. Don't be afraid to grab at new opportunities. I don't know. I feel like money will be coming in for a lot of you. If you're going to be making more money and things are changing, especially when it comes to finances, some of you could win a court case and end up getting some money. But regardless of that, I don't know. There's something to do with money that could cause a fight or an argument. Yeah, because someone's being stingy with money, holding back. Someone's definitely holding on to their money. Save your money, especially if you're struggling. I don't know, within this energy, maybe save your money because there seems like there's a problem approaching. 
Whatever it is, it's coming out of nowhere. It's a new opportunity. It could be a new idea here. Someone has an idea. Hmm. Give me more on this money or property, inheritance, winning, windfall. No one's going to win the lottery in this energy. It's Someone might feel like they won the lottery with you, but that's not what this is. This is someone wants to win by by any means. Someone's very greedy here. Am I getting into that case? I don't want to get into that case. It's an ongoing case. Whoever, like the situation I was talking about in North Carolina, um, I don't think they've gone to trial with it yet. But anyways, that's not what I want to talk about right now. I haven't organized my thoughts with that one, just saying. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There could be some type of an inheritance with a water sign. Um, you know, family members, something. Yeah, there's definitely money here with a water sign. This King of Cups might think that they're winning. They won something. What the hell? What is this? King of Cups. Stuck the nine of cups. Oh, my hair is everywhere, sorry. Okay. It's like feeling stuck. death. So the scorpionic energy here, definitely. We have messages here too. Potentially about being left out in the cold or a sense of lack. Someone did leave you out. Who? I don't know. I feel like this emperor energy. They could have listened to lies and gossip. They were hiding their feelings. Somebody listened to outsiders and they could have left you out and now they want to come in and say something to you. They want to talk to you. Um... That could be it's Aries energy, Taurus. We have Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Um, I did see the Hermit, so there's Virgo. Someone could be spending a lot of time alone just trying to reflect. Yeah, somebody's seeing things very differently because this wanted to flip around. So it's almost like being stuck in a situation, not knowing what to do, and then going, all right, I'm making these positive changes. I see things differently. I'm not stuck anymore. That The stuck energy is ending. And there's a level of wish fulfillment here, like... Someone's seeing something very beautiful. It's like I'm seeing what's right in front of my face finally. So someone's finally seeing something. They're seeing clearly. For some of you, this is a very small message. Your wish, what you're wishing for, if especially if it's financial stability and stuff like that, it could come from a, an inheritance due to a death. So there could be um, a masculine energy because we have a lot of masculine energy here. who um, might leave you some money when he passes away. I don't know, it's like family money, but it feels like a wish. And I don't feel like you're wishing that someone dies. It's not that, it's... I just heard you're gonna get what you deserve. And that doesn't feel like an, um, you're gonna get what you deserve. It's, it's like you're going to you're going to be gifted something. Someone's going to be gifted something due to a death. That's coming up. It's what you've been waiting for. Not the death of the person, but the outcome of it all. Something like that. All right. Um, yeah, because it's going to give you an opportunity to move forward. It's also, it's also has to do with psychic abilities, well, mainly mediumship. There's both in here, but it's also messages from the dead because it's making me think of feeling stuck and not knowing what to do because of a death. Because I don't know, someone on the other side multiple someones are 
helping grant your wishes, helping you get a level of fulfillment, helping you move forward. But I do feel like there is a level of fulfillment with speaking to someone who is on the other side. Someone might not have believed that it was real, that it was really happening, um, that their loved one was coming through or something. And then they, oh, thank you. I'm recording. Just set it on right there. Um, I keep getting fucking sidetracked. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. Someone's believing in messages. They're not stuck anymore. And it's like they wished for that. That's what, yeah. Someone wished to speak to someone on the other side, whether they went to a medium or not. Because I don't feel like whoever wanted to, to speak to a past over loved one, I don't feel like they went to a medium for that purpose. They could have, but I don't think so. And it's almost like, I really wish that I could talk to you one more time. I really wish, you know, something to do with that. And they got their wish or they're going to get their wish. They did and they're going to because there's more to come. Ow. Yeah, there's more to come. Especially if there's someone who had committed suicide on the other side. Uh, th th that's on the other side. They committed suicide um, with a gun. They shot themselves because um, I just felt like, I don't know, I just got a, a bullet to the temple. Um, someone might want to speak to that person, whoever that is for them. Because I feel like there's something leading up to this. Like, wow, that's so-and-so or whatever. And whoever this is might reach out to to you if you do spiritual work um or they might reach out to a medium i feel like it's someone specific like like yeah okay you're picking up on so and so um and i want to talk to them someone's gonna get their wish they're gonna get to speak to someone that they that they miss basically i didn't get to say goodbye is what i heard it's okay this person's around anyways, but yeah, someone didn't get to say goodbye. It's almost like if I knew that this was going to be the last time I'd ever see you, speak to you, whatever, I would have said so much more. I, w I wish I was there for you. Um, could be a Virgo. Someone's just taking a lot of time to reflect on a situation like that. I don't know, because I kind of feel regretful that I can't speak to someone anymore. But... You can. They hear you. I know it's different when, when you know, because spirit's not in their physical form anymore, so you can't hug them. And this feels like a guy-guy thing. Like, these guys probably wouldn't, like, be huggy. You know what I mean? Maybe they did hug at one point. Who knows? But um, it's more like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I wasted time or something. Someone wasted time. Don't waste any more of it if you feel that way. It's like learn that lesson with the other people in your life who's significant to you. Make sure you don't don't let opportunities like that pass you by. Seven of Swords. <coughs> There's lies here. But the lies are coming out. <laughs> that was weird. <coughs> it looks like... <clears throat> There's someone who's just relying on faith. You know, I'm taking a leap of faith over here, whatever. And this sneaky mofo, whoever this is, is looking at this free-flowing energy. This person who's like, I'm just going to do, I do what I want. You know what I mean? And it's not because they're an a-hole. It's They're just like, whatever happens, happens. I'm relying on faith. And this one's like, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you have so much damn faith that you're just going to do do what you want someone wants to be more like that as well because they could be watching you just go with the flow and the queen of swords speaks the truth because i kind of feel like whoever this whoever this liar energy is a sneaky crap is not paying attention to the messages. They're not paying attention to the truth that's being spoken because they're focused on this fun and free energy. Like, oh, I'm just going to do this. 
this? Oh, you're, you're just going to do that? Yeah, okay, well, what, what can I screw up here? They're not paying attention to the truth. That's so funny. Because <laughs> it's like, it's doing something behind someone's back, but not in a bad way. <laughs> like, I mean, the Seven of Swords is not the best energy, I'm just saying. Because it, it's like, you're just moving on. You're just moving away from this, you know, the gossip, the hate, discontent, the problems. It's like, I can't believe you're moving away from this situation from me whatever like you're just it's like you don't have a care in the world what what you don't care that I, I said all this about you you don't care that I did this and I hurt you that you don't care like what the hell you don't care so they're focused in the wrong direction and the truth's coming out about that and whoever is like going you don't care like I can literally call you every name in the book I can throw you under the bus I can do this that and whatever and you're just fine. But whoever's relying on faith and they're moving forward and speaking up about stuff, I'm just saying, or someone else is, there's Libra energy here, but um, yeah, someone was trying to make you lose faith in a situation or a person due to lies. But the truth is coming out about it. Maybe they want to apologize or someone wants to apologize, make sure it's not an empty apology, you know what I mean? So give me more on the fool. Five of Swords control. Yeah, somebody was trying to control someone's forward movement. Like, I don't want you to be fun and free. I don't want you to take these leaps of faith. Just, no. Because the fool wanted to flip. Like, I'm moving forward. And then, no, I'm not. So someone's trying to keep someone stuck with bullshit and lies. But like I said, the truth is coming out. Or it already did. Shock. Somebody might be shocked by the truth. Because they feel exposed. Someone, someone's crap is being exposed, but it's freeing them from whatever this is. Somebody else might want to free you from a situation too and provide you with some clarity. It just depends on the situation, but there definitely is money ties to whatever this is. And for some of you, it's your own damn family stabbing you in the back or people you consider family could be people or a person you have a child or children with, but not necessarily. Yeah. They're trying to hurt you. These lies. The pain. Some of you might be really upset when you find out who has been spreading crap about you, who's been lying. A rose is very significant, and this is heartbreak. Somebody did something to really hurt your feelings. It could be watching you. There's some type of online truth here as well. So I did say unfriending people on social media. <clears throat> All right, what is this? I just heard again. A little birdie told me. Oh, there's a star. It's healing. Healing energy. Whatever this is, you will heal from it. Um, give me more on the Fool and the Five of Swords. It really feels like someone just trying to hold another person back, basically. Because they didn't have a... A clear understanding. Someone was really foolish for trying to hold you back. And I think they're seeing that now. Because whoever created this level of pain. Whoever was spreading these lies and stuff. Is going. I think I'm the fool not you. Like you know what I mean. Like I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have done that. Because karma's a bitch. <laughs> it can be. Whatever is. Whatever is being done to you is, is, is being reversed because the truth is coming out when this person isn't paying attention. It's almost like, haha, I won. I hurt you. I did this, whatever. I have the control in this situation. And whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, is like, think again, Mofo. Um, you had control, but you had no self control, and now you're going to pay the price. The fool again yeah somebody's trying to stop your forward movement or send you in a different direction as well and it could be someone from your past or someone you have children with or a child um someone you've known for a long time because the fool is facing <coughs> excuse me is facing the left and then this fool is facing right and the control is sending someone left when they should have been going right because that fool is just like 
Is this really the way I should be going? This fool might be singing like, ah, you know what I mean? Is this the way I should be going? And it's getting somebody else to turn around. Like, don't leap off the ledge in that direction. There's lies there. Save yourself. <laughs> I was like, something like that. Um, so whoever's like, hey, someone could have viewed you if you're sharing messages or if you told somebody something, they might have thought that you were trying to control them or trying to control their forward movement, um, the situation, like you just want it to go in your favor. And that's not, that's not what this was at all. It was like, I'm trying to give you a little bit of guidance. Seems your compass is broken because there's one fool here, one fool energy who is relying on faith. And then there's another one that's just being damn foolish is what it feels like. Butterflies remind me, there could be a significance with butterflies, but they remind me of change and transformation and death. So it's like the dead is guiding this person. The dead is guiding you, whether you believe it or not. Because even if this person leaps off the ledge, they'll be there to, to help you fly or float down. So it, when you, so you'll land on your feet, you won't fall on your face. Someone's ignoring guidance. And it's not a spiritual person that's ignoring guidance. It's, I feel like there's a spiritual person who's trying to lead somebody. Like, I'm trying to give you direction. I'm not trying to control the situation. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you the information and you can make whatever choice you want. But don't be a dumbass. Like, that's what this kind of feels like. Like, please don't be foolish. Please think things through. Don't, don't judge the information sit on it, let it marinate, you know, like, don't be reactive, sit on it and marinate, exactly, like, if you have to sit by yourself and kind of hang, like, hang tight or whatever until you figure things out, someone might want to hang out with you as well, because they want clarity, no matter what the situation is, regardless of spirituality, that's in here, but, um, somebody just might want to talk, and they don't really know what to do. Someone doesn't know what to do because it hurts you because of all the pain and the lies. Either you don't know how to recover the situation or they don't know what to do because they're the one that, ones that hurt you. Could be the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Alright, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah. There's a disunion here. This is an end to a partnership or it could be finding out the truth about an ex like oh this situation is not stable with so and so or someone isn't stable someone's also finding out the truth as to why a relationship ended for them or if you were interested in someone why they didn't move forward because it's like when I took a right you took a damn left that's what this is someone was led astray due to crap Potentially family issues and money and gossip and I just want to sit here and sip tea. I want all the information and there's someone in this situation. It could be someone in your own darn family, you know, that enjoy, they feed off from drama. They feed off from other people's lives and it's like, okay, well, Betty Sue down the road, she told me that Susan over there, you know, is, is cheating on her husband, you know, like, I don't know with who yet, but I'll find out because Nancy knows this stuff, you know, I'll talk to Nancy later. It's like something like that, but instead of getting the correct information, going to the source, <laughs> they, they pile up all these rumors and gossip and spread it without knowing. So it's like, oh, I just told told you so-and-so's cheating or whatever. And then you find out that that's not true. It's actually the husband that was doing it. And then you're going, crap, I got the information wrong. Oh, well, well, we'll just leave that there. But they're both cheating on each other now, even though it's just one person. Like, it's something like that. Like, I got to cover my tracks because I gave the wrong information. Someone gossips a lot. And they need to mind their own damn business. This person should literally have their mouth sewn shut. Because everything that comes out of their mouth is crap. 
someone could be messing with whatever you do for work as well. But I also feel part of the gossip here is if you do anything online on social media, um, spiritual messages or otherwise, someone was lying about that, saying that you're just gossiping about people. Um, that you're just causing drama and stuff and none of it's true when in all actuality it is. It's true. Um, I just got that pain in my heart for some reason. I mean, I am staring at the, the Three of Swords, so... Whatever these lies are that are coming out when you find out who really betrayed you, it's going to really hurt. It's going to really hurt. And you know what's really weird with this too? Is, you know how my daughter keeps drawing, drawing crap for me? Um, she drew a picture, and I said this. I said, a rose is significant. I have roses somewhere. I don't know how they are. Oh, I took them out of the tarot room. There's only one over there. The dead one's on the table. <laughs> the dead one's on the table. It's weird how I position things sometimes. But anyways, um, I said roses are significant. It's almost like Beauty and the Beast and stuff like that. But um, this sword is going to cut through through this rose energy it's gonna cut right through this is gonna cut this is gonna hurt but anyways the picture she drew with a heart is broken has is this all the crap i've said and just i don't know it drives me nuts i'm just so anyways um i said just rip the band-aid off because you know you need, you need to heal don't just cover up heartbreak pain stuff like that someone could be covering up their pain hiding their pain of a broken heart because she drew a broken heart and one side had ribs and i was talking about how eve was created from adam's ribs so they're connected they're truly connected and then there was like tears and blood and cracks or lightning and shit all over it and a rose on the top and I'm like, oh, there's a Band-Aid holding it together. I think I said that, but I don't remember. And I'm like, and she made a point to bring the fucking picture. Oh, and there's fire underneath it all. Like, everything's just burning. There could be a, a passion burning, or someone's going to get pissed. I don't know <laughs> one or the other, but I see signs and everything, so it could just me, be me seeing those signs, but I'm just saying, I don't know. Um, it's all the crap I say. Like... I feel like I have a fucking parrot around sometimes. Maybe that's how some of you guys feel. But whoever's bullshitting you, it's going to really hurt them. Um, well, they're going to get hurt in the end, but it's going to hurt whoever's being bullshitted, is what I was trying to say. Something to do with family. Like, wanting justice within a family situation, it's coming. Justice is coming for the situation. Um, Alright. So, I want... <laughs> I'm just not happy all of a sudden. <sighs> Give me a little bit more on this situation, I guess. DD, somebody might drink and drive or they need to have a designated driver. Stubborn. Hard-headed, trying to talk to a brick wall. Yeah, I think it's very hard to get through to someone. Maybe it was really hard to get through to, to another person and you stop talking to them. I just heard, we're going to tear this wall down brick by brick. No matter how painstakingly difficult this is. Worst nightmare, karma connection. Someone's name might be Casey. Not necessarily, but that I don't know, that's in here somewhere. For someone. I just heard I was born this way born this way that's the lady gaga stuff bad romance i was like if somebody else comes through that fucking door <laughs> i have the sign up but anyways um stubs it's not a barbecue sauce maybe somebody likes barbecue sauce or going to barbecue joints something to do with the grill boo will grill i i don't know that just popped in my head but um grilling Summertime. Stubbs barbecue sauce. I don't know. Uh, that could be a seasoning too. Or a rub or something. Um, chaos, trauma, drama, fights, and freaking arguments. Yeah, there could be 
some drama and some argumentative energy with a past person was with a within a karmic connection because someone is not listening they're not paying attention it's almost like no matter what i say to you it doesn't get through because they don't want it to get through you're not going to get through to someone who's closed off you're not going to get through to someone who thinks that their shit don't stink and that they're always freaking right you just won't and that might cause a fight an argument a problem could happen today or within this energy yeah some the truth is coming out and it's gonna really piss someone off I don't know someone's gonna get mad within the family a family member might get mad because of someone's wishes wishes coming true dreams coming into fruition some of a perfect match Someone was trying to pretend to be your perfect match and they're not. And you could be figuring this out. Someone is figuring out a major problem in their life or in their family and they don't feel appreciated. They feel taken advantage of. Like, you took advantage of the situation. You took advantage of my kindness. Like, <clears throat> like I don't know. I want to... I want to fight. Someone wants to fight someone? <laughs> It could be someone you have a lot of chemistry with because I feel like <sighs> um, you're a very hard worker. Whatever you're working towards, keep going because I do feel like with your wishes and your goals and your dreams, it's almost like, I guess I'm, yay, I'm trucking along and then boom, I hit the wall. And it's like, what the hell? Why? Who built the wall in the middle of the trail? Like, where did this wall come from? And then you tear that one down. You're like, oh, I'm good. Checking along. I'm getting close to my goals. And boom, there's another wall. Who is this mason? I'm just saying. Because someone's slapping walls up left and right. And they're just haphazardly everywhere. Like, blocking this, blocking that. I feel like the blocks are being removed because the truth is coming out about someone who's pretending to be quote unquote your person they're pretending to be a perfect fit for you like they don't care they really don't there's something they want to be there when your wishes come true it's almost like whatever you're working towards i'll it's almost like i'll stop building these blockages and walls if you just succumb to this <laughs> this is what someone's doing that's what someone's karmic is doing a problem it could be a family member even because karmics, karmics aren't just lovers um, or past, you know, exes and crap like that. But most of the time they are, but not always. Because there's different lessons. Karmic people teach us lessons. And we are all a karmic person to someone or someone at some point. You know what I mean? Um, I just want to say hi. I just want to say hello. And then there's a problem. I just want to say hello. And then there's a freaking problem. Well, give me a little bit more on this trauma drama. What is someone figuring out? What is... Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Could have something to do with someone's business or money. Be smart is what I want to say. Good fortune's coming in, so that's good. Hmm. Oh, that just feels crappy to me. So, is there anything, like, anything else we need to know? Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, all of a sudden. I want to put the gossip and lies away because it's staring me right in the face. And it's really ticking me off. It's staring me right in the face. It's really ticking me off. Hmm. Maybe you're looking at the problem? I don't know. I just feel like the information someone needs is literally in front of their face. Like, you know, it's not really being hidden, <laughs> ultimately, or it's going to be put in someone's face. Because someone's going to rebel. They're going to go against the grain and do what they feel. 
I am so confused right now. I don't know how to move this forward because I didn't even know if I wanted to record this. I'm just saying, yeah, someone feels at a loss. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, that's what it feels like. Like, what the hell? It's almost like sitting around, I don't know, wherever you're sitting, wherever you are, you're surrounded by the quote unquote enemy, the people who are working against you, but you're unaware. It's like literally, what is that? Isn't that in the Bible where, oh, that's on the card. My Mimi's funeral card has something to do with eating with thy enemy or something. Being, being surrounded by problematic people, not just one, and knowing it. Like deep down, someone knows something. They just don't, maybe they don't want to believe it. I would go to the ends of the earth for you just to see you smile. Please tell me how to fix things between us. So there's someone who's very interested in you and I don't know, they love your energy. I am sending you telepathic messages, hoping you'll hear me and reach out. <laughs> I want to kiss you so bad. Someone definitely is spiritually connected to another person and you could be picking up on it and just not believing it or questioning it. Um, or they are, someone is. This person really wants to fix things between the two of you. I just heard, come on over. Um, it's like, I just don't know where to begin. They're torn. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I'm torn potentially between family and you or whatever. I don't know. There's a shitty family in here. Some family members suck apparently, at least in this energy. I want to marry you someday. All right. Well, I'm going to go and get situated for the day. And then I might be back to do that channel message about that case, the ongoing case, because I want to mention all the... Um, correlations like all the things that I've said because if you rewatch my videos um a lot of different messages I picked up on how these people died and they're all connected to that same shitty family I'm just saying and that's what happens when when you have status and money and greed and all that shit festers in there when there's problematic when there's problematic people and problems around money talks and it can shut people up you know what I'm saying and I feel like that's on a minor scale that's going on for some people like you know yeah, I'll do this because I need some money kind of thing. But in that case, it's like on a grander scale. It's not like, oh, here's a couple hundred dollars or here's this to go say this, do this, whatever. No, this is like hush money type shit in that, in that case. Um, <clears throat> no, big time. Yeah. And the only reason messages like that come out is so that people, the people involved can heal or anyone tied to that family or situation. There's a lot of healing that will come from this situation they picked up on, but also in that situation, that case, because I just heard come together over me, open up. So anyways, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.